that song. Not that song. <laughs> okay, this sounds, sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, yeah, it's really in a good shape now. There's only some uh, details uh, spot. Maybe I can help you guys a little bit. Yeah, first of all, um, in general, I think that uh, balance wise, the second one can, can play much more, especially when you have that. that but it's not because like, you're not playing loud enough. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice that your violin actually is fading that way. Yeah. Right, yeah. Then your violin, because actually the third violin will have more sound because she has more different stuff than your guys. She is more like a viola in the in this group, right? Yeah. So that's why uh, even uh, no matter what she, she plays, we will notice that, right? But you actually have more the, the stuff similar to the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you uh, two play together, most of the time I heard too much about the, 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 the first violin on the air. Okay. We need someone to play holding that. So it's like a, you know in the Olympic game or like in the ice skating. Whoever is more that. Yeah, let's try from the beginning actually. Oh, there's one rhythm before I forget. Every time when you guys have this kind of rhythm, I always kind of cannot really hurt the second notes uh, clearly. Yeah, the sixteen notes is sometimes you just uh, you just beat it. Yeah, the first first one is always a down and I third, but but the second one I should sometimes even more even. This one, you have to have this kind of grab. Okay, let's try from the beginning. Oh, also the beginning, this uh, adagio part. I love how you guys like break together. That I, that's why I said things that I was expecting like people won't do it, but actually you guys did really good job on that. You you are breaking together, and then you are just doing a lot of this good thing here. And for this section, I think the hardest hardest part is the third violin, right? Because you're you're the people who bring out the change. You are the people who two times. That you are you're the only different thing actually, right? They're playing the exact almost exactly the same thing the, the first time and the second time. So for me this is always imagine imagine so I have this kind of imagination where I heard this piece like in the beginning part it's like really quiet at night. Now you suddenly have like the idea jumping in your your head. Then maybe it's not as really good. You kind of start to worry about it, right? So it's like the first time it's jumping into your head is oh okay, it's okay. The second time you start to have if you have this kind of heart beating, your blood in the vein is like moving faster, that's you. That's you. You are you are the heart beating. You're starting to worry, oh okay, maybe maybe she don't like me or something like that. I don't know, I don't know. It's can be can be a love story or something else. But yeah, you really bring out the change. Let's try from the beginning of that. It sounds really good already. Also here. 
after you play the spadondo, I, I barely heard the. Should try to have more articulation on the left hand actually maybe helps because uh, it's really quick. It stops. So if you have more articulation on the left hand, really, even though it's really fast, to try to rebound on it. Just try this part. Um, so this is bar number. Everybody should have the same. Three before A. Three before A, yeah. Okay, let's try this part, uh, the, the place where I talk about here, the... Yeah, 
uh, that, yeah, but not with too long a little, a bit. So st still in tempo, but it's a little bit like a ritornado thing. Oh, yeah, okay. but 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 yeah, still in tempo, like in in, in this kind of uh, structure, like four uh, three 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 beats in structure. But yeah, but but try to like maybe moving everything like slow down. You know, you know, you know, you know. You can do it. Yeah, you can actually move properly, right? Yeah. But when you do Bernardo like the six, uh, like those kind of notes, you grouping them like three by three. You hear that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on for now for time's sake. Uh, yeah, but that's, that sounds better now. You you. <laughs> you have to have a better song on the on this part. Technically, everything is great, but but you can make it more interesting, definitely. Okay, okay. Not from me, not from your teacher. It's actually should should from you guys. Yeah, because you're the you're the man, right? <laughs> right let's try the the next section. Yeah, 
the play is just greater. Yeah. yeah. So can we try this part? Just the third volume and the second one. Uh, we should do we need to do stock. I got the wrong numbers. Do we have a number here? I don't know. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Maybe 15 before E. Yeah, or we should have the number. Okay. Oh, actually, we should stop by the E. She has a da 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 dum da di da. Just try this part. Do you know where that is? Yeah. If you don't know, just try the same spot. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.
I hate playing YouTube. Because I think, oh my god, YouTube are boring, they're just the technique stuff. Oh, I want to play all those, those kind of musical piece, right? But the thing I didn't realize at that moment is, YouTube is a wonderful musical piece too. They are also musical piece. Uh, we're not like pianists, they're lucky. They play all the etudes in the concert, in the recital all the time, right? All the shell pan etudes. So we don't have this kind of mindset. We don't have this kind of mindset sometimes. We, we just treat the etude like a... Like, a, oh, I am specific to need to practice this kind of this thing there. But we didn't realize, oh, it's still, it's a music. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so like this piece, you can say in the beginning, uh, where's this one? Oh, yeah. So it's all about the strong, right? It's all about the bow, uh, how, how you work on this thing. Uh, if I want you, uh, can I try the beginning one time? Let's talk a little bit about this. Yeah. Um, so in the beginning, you see this kind of show, uh, you see this two piece. Have you practiced the second one before? No. Oh, okay, so it has similar things. Uh, so you see, it's all about the different kind of show. Mm -hmm. But this is a shorter one, this is a shorter one. But the most important is the, the beginning part, like the, the speed, the mm -hmm. speed. Yeah, so can I try the beginning one time that we will talk about it? Yeah, really rock the 
string like feelable is the weight. Then release the palm, release the tension. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but each of the time you have to, so this is a, you have to cooperate in your, your arm mm -hmm. to find out like where, where is, where is that, that sweet spot, that point. So you have to touch the string, touch the string, then you let them. have to hurt this kind of biting articulation. You guys can try again. Yeah, so power it's much better now. Not only from here, from here too, from the arm too, not only the finger, it's not only this, not only this, but uh, so you always like for everybody listening the same. Always try to use your bigger muscle to help your smaller part. So it's like uh, you know you, when you go into the construction uh, place and you saw this huge arm is carrying stuff around, right? Those kind of thing. But if you watch carefully, this part actually is loose. This part is actually loose. All the power is actually from here. From here, yeah, even like this kind of thing, you think, oh, I need to have like small movement here, but still, the the, the power is from the bigger muscle. It's from the bigger muscle. It's like a, you say like uh, those boxing people they, they do this, right? Yeah. It's not like the, the power is not yeah. Yeah, yeah, like the, the actually it's from here. Yeah, it will be more powerful. So even for this kind of thing, you think like oh, really detail uh, technique stuff, but if you actually from the bigger muscle actually will help you a lot. Can I try it again? More natural way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the, the, the first one was great. Even you, you're saying, oh, I, I'm able to control the bow. But that one actually is great. It sounds really good. Can I try it again? Yeah, then the next thing you figure out is the direction of the bow. Because what happens is if we trust here too much, the bow sometimes goes like this way. Yeah. It goes everywhere, right? Then you have to track in like how the bow is moving, make it straight. Then. You see that all the kind of how long you could play like this way. That's better, that's better. Yeah, so first of all, you have to know how to let it go. Then you find out, oh, okay, so where it goes. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that sounds better now. Let's move on for now. So, and also for this part, it's, it's actually really musically stuff too. You, you have to find the direction to hear them. Right? Can I try from the beginning one time? Actually, but you just adding more notes here. It's actually the same. It's like it's like this, but I just have more notes here. Can I try from here? So to really bring out the accent here. Just try this one. Dali, dali, dali. Yeah, don't try to play too too fast. So when you play a piece, sometimes the rhythm is on your left hand, sometimes it's on your right hand. So it really depends on uh so like here in the beginning part maybe it's more here, here, here. But when you get here, the rhythm is more so make sure your articulation on here too. So actually your articulation on your left hand on your left hand can really help your articulation on right hand. Especially like you play something like that. You see those accents? If I find out how I can co cooperate with my left hand, you can have a much, much stronger uh, accent. And you don't need to worry too much about ah, only from the right hand here. So this is a, a, a really. 
should be looking good. It should be like a little bit stronger here. Kind of traveling here. Da di da di da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, bow don't need to be moved too fast or let you slower. Make sure each of the notes. Yeah, try to pull pull bow on the string. Use the valve for the bow. Feel feel the weight. Feel the weight of the bow. Let that play. That's better. Yeah, I can now. I can hear like each of the notes is vibrating, vibrating at this moment. Then you just just adding some accent on the first one. Ready on the bow, on the string. Then yeah, yeah, good. So it's it. It's the same thing. A little bit different, but the uh, the principle is the same. Okay. Now let's keep going for now. Uh, from here, uh, da da di da, then this one. Uh, starting right at the center. Yeah, da di da di. Let's start from here.
sometimes holding your violin higher helps. That, 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 that's, that, you, you see, when you holding your violin lower sometimes, so you see, if I'm holding like a little table, it won't drop, right? But if my violin is like this way, it drops, right? So if you're holding a violin play this way, if you want to keep your bow on the violin, you actually have to give some extra force from this side, right? To keep the violin in the same place. But if you're holding like this way, you, won't, you don't need that. So you think, magically, it will sound better. It will sound better. Automatically. Yeah, so that's why you see some uh, great performers. When they play something, you have, they do something like that. It's not they try to show off. Actually, it makes the violin sound better, actually. Yeah, so think about that. When you play this part, I will suggest you to the really let the bow. Since this piece is all about the, like, the, how you work on your bow, like, let's try it again. Yeah, put your bow on the, on the violin, don't worry about too much. Yeah, then guide the bow. Yeah, also when I say, don't move your bow too fast. It's also like driving down the eyes. You have to have this kind of... Try to use limit of the bow. Try to only use this part for now. But make sure every note is, has this kind of quality sound. Don't hold the bow, don't hold the bow. Try to, yeah, rest on the, on the string. Yeah, good. Yeah, it already sounds better. It already sounds get better. I, I suggest you should maybe even do some practice, with, like open string practice. Like just let the bow rest on the string. Yeah. Just feel the, the weight of the bow. Don't let the bow shaking on the string. Yeah, but you see, you have to make the bow straight. Oh, yeah, this is also another thing. When we look at our bow, sometimes we say this is straight. But if you look into your mirror, you find out, oh, that's not. This is actually straight. So what you should look at is, you have to be parallel with the, the bridge. Yeah, th there's an, also another way which you practice is put your bow really close to the bridge. Really close to the bridge. In that case, your eyes can, can see like the bow and the bridge are parallel together. So you know like, when you move the bow, you know, oh, okay, that is straight. That your arm has to be follow the bow, not the bow follow your arm. Follow the, follow the bow is moving. Yeah, you can practice something like that to make the bow is straight. Hey, no, 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 you see, you're, you're moving like this way again. Yeah, you have to find out what it is. Uh, looking into your mirror is a good idea too. Okay, so I have uh, two minutes left. Uh, this is one, one more part. I've been noticing uh, is this part, the fast one. Can I say? Yeah, also for the, for the, for the, so the thing, so you have to find out, like if you are tuning, find the, the double stop, the switch bar, the double, then, yeah, yeah, that was good actually, you, even you regularly just play that notes, but that actually, that was, that sounds pretty good, yeah, don't try to like, like, you didn't prepare for that, but find out, your bow is on both of string, then, Yeah, lifting your, you lifting your arm 
don't even have the, the sort of force note. Ah, la di. It's okay. <laughs> try again. Don't don't do it. Try 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 it with open string for now. Yeah. So you see, Army is still doing that. Did you know that? I know. This is not only two minutes you can you can change to this kind of heavy, but yeah, when you practice, just uh, uh, be aware about that. And also, I, I suggest you maybe practice something. You can do this kind of exercises on one string, string crossing in one string. You see, this is really useful. Even when you change the note, when you change the bow, if you want to hide this kind of this kind of sound, you can also do this work. You hear the difference if I, I don't move the arm at all. You will be more smooth actually. Yeah. So find the, this kind of thing here. Yeah, wonderful play. Yeah. So you already know all the notes. Yeah. Now is the time you really dig into that and then play it like a like the way it's supposed to be. And try to like really dig into those details, like find out how many things uh, you can learn from this piece. Because each of the piece, and no matter what piece you play. You always can learn from that. Even I realize that because when I'm teaching some younger students, they're playing super easy piece. But when I have to play them again, I realize, oh, when I was young, I didn't realize actually this part is so beautiful. This part has a lot of potential we can actually put in there. Actually, I still learn from even a piece like a. You can learn stuff like that. Like the first job I was playing horribly, right? Yeah. So yeah, think about that. Yeah. Don't. Just to think that oh it's itchy, but actually think it's like a really good piece. Okay, thank you. <laughs>